Join me today as I style the shelves on our wall unit. Welcome back or welcome to another episode of Life with Marion and Joe. And in today's episode, uh, we're going to be um, styling the shelves on the wall unit with some stuff that I have. I always find the uh, styling of the wall unit shelves a particular challenge when it's not a seasonal decor. You know, if it's uh, Christmas or uh, fall, I have a lot of stuff and, you know, I find it very easy to organize things on the shelves. But when it is nondescript or uh, non-seasonal decor that I'm using, sometimes it gets a little bit challenging because you want your shelving unit to look cohesive and you don't want it to look like a mumbo jumbo. Um, I experience something called uh, visual clutter. And when I see visual clutter, I can't think straight. So it actually needs to be cohesive. So even for those of you that, you know, somebody out there must have just said, are you kidding with all the stuff that you put out for Christmas and things like that? You're affected by visual clutter. Yes, if it's not put out in a certain way or uh, organized in a certain way, I do experience that phenomenon. So today what we're gonna try to do is I'm going to try to make sense of the shelves and the wall unit to tell some kind of story uh, with everything that's on there so that it doesn't look like a bunch of little pieces, that it looks like one big picture. So here is the piece of furniture that I'm talking about right here in the uh, family room. This used to house our television before the days of the, uh, the flat screens. And that whole middle section right in here, that was for the TV. So what I did was I put another shelf in there and I put this divider down here and I made two cubbies here and then this one. Then up in here, these actually had doors on them that I removed from there. And um, I put that divider in there as well. And then I we have the sides. Now what I did was I actually painted this out. This was a golden oak and I painted it the color of our kitchen cabinets, which is like a French country antique kind of white look and I painted the back of the wall unit this chocolate brown which uh, coincides with the chocolate brown accent wall that we have by the fireplace. Okay so first things first because I had the ladder out and I put the ladder away I didn't want to do it in front of you but I put those three green <clears throat> um, urns there which came from the Christmas tree shop. They have varying shapes. And what I did was that back one, I actually put on a riser so it's taller. Now the one to the right has that, uh, you know, that tapered top. So it looks taller than the one to the left, but I didn't put that one on a riser. So they still look three different levels. And I added that candle right in there in the middle to give some light up there. So that's where I started before the video. Now, if you notice right here, I also put two pictures up here. These are kind of like sketches that there are two of them, one over here and one on the other side right there. And these come from Marianne's cousin uh, and on one of her trips to uh, Italy, she picked these up from um, a street, uh, a st you know, person on the street, an artist on the street. And um, when she passed away, uh, we inherited them. So, uh, I, you know, they, again, they tell that story of our Italian roots, plus PS, they have the brown tones and the beigey tones that I'm looking for in the room. So they're absolutely perfect. I have them on two plate stands up there. All right, let's, so let's start with these two shelves up here first. You know, books are making a great resurgence back again. I don't know if you noticed that everything online that I, you know, I do a lot of watching of Homeworthy and uh, the Potted Boxwood and such like that. And a lot of those, you know, beautiful houses and uh, a lot of them display a lot of books. So I have some books here that I'm going to try to make sense of a story. I don't know if it will come off that way, but let's see together. So I'm gonna start with this shelf right up here and you'll, you'll get the meaning of it in a little while.
All right, so I'm introducing some blue in here, and I'm gonna start with these books right here. You see they have a lot of blue in them. And I'm gonna put those like that on the side. Now here I have more blue books. And I'm going to place those down like that. Next, I'm going to use this picture that looks like somebody sat on it. Now, I wasn't sure where we got this from. I, I think I had used it once before and I misrepresented where it came from. But I asked Marianne last night and she said that, we got this from an estate sale. And you can see it has the blues in it and it has the greens in it that I'm using a lot in this room, which I know you didn't see yet, but you'll see it eventually. So it encompasses the blue that I want to introduce here as well as the green that's in the room. So I'm going to place it, I believe, like that. Let me see for now. I'm not sure which way the handle is going to go yet. All right, so let's do this side next. So now on this side, I'm not going to use the blues, but I'm going to use more of the white and gold or the cream color. You see here, we have that cream color here. And I am using a lot of black as well in here. So it does make sense. Here's the black lettering, the cream of the book with this, the black of the writing with this book right here. Okay, so now I need two books in here. So this is a weird combination because it has a little bit of this rusty look right here, which it plays off of you know, the color of this this French country color. And then here, the blue here, and then the seashell, which is almost the same color as that. So here, I'm putting these two on this side. Okay, so what I want to do here, and not to be matchy-matchy, is I'm going to put another picture here that we also got at that estate sale. And here it is right here. Okay, so again, it has that same coloration as this, and it has the gold, which you can't see on that wall. I have a, a, some gold accessories. So I'm going to put this up on those books. Okay, so there's the top shelf. So let's come down in here. So as you notice already, I have this um, picture placed in here and um, I put it back here. Actually, there's some wires back there that I wanted to hide. You know, I hate wires, you know that, right? And um, so I put this picture and it has the gold again that matches over there. These are two globes right here. We used to have this in the office a long time ago and I really like it and I haven't been, I don't think I've used it in maybe 20 years. So I thought it was time to pull it out and it is right here. Now I have this right here, this lamp. This is a lamp, but it is a vase lamp and you'll see it lit later. So I put that right here. So now what, what am I going to fill up in here? Okay, so I have to try to think of what is going to add texture and yet give some interest and look a little bit different. So what I'm trying, what I'm going to use is this right here. Let me fix the camera a little bit. I'm going to use this right here. Now, for those of you who know me, you know you've seen this. And a lot of times what I'll do is I have things spilling out of it, you know, greenery and stuff like that. I am cutting way down on all of that greenery and all of that kind of stuff for spring and the summer. I mean, I still like it, but I don't want to use it. Um, <clears throat> I'm noticing that, you know, like those shows that I just told you about, Homeworthy and all those, they don't use a lot of that kind of stuff. 
and I don't want to use that kind of stuff. I'm trying to, I'm cutting down on it anyway, because I, you know, I still, I'm still going to use it, but I'm cutting down on it. So um, I'm, I want to leave it just like this, so that it's not to, the, all of that doesn't distract from the beauty of this box. This is a really nice box. And P.S. What I did was I have the coasters and that kind of stuff that in, in here. So I'm going to leave that right here. Now I think what I need right here is two more elements to play off of this, and I think they should be glass. So I'm going to use this right here. It's like a pair. And here is, here's that gold again. Remember I told you over there, there's that gold. And there's some gold right here. And the gold of the frame, all right? And then the glass and the glass. So it's not so heavy. And I think I'm going to put that here with the leaf sticking out. Now you need some kind of dish right here because Marianne always likes a little candy dish somewhere. So I'm going to use this crystal dish again. It has that same cut crystal as this pair right here. Okay, and I'm going to put that right there. So I have a grouping of three right here. Then I have the backdrop of the picture. And then I have the box to add interest, color, and texture. Okay, so let's move down to those bottom shells. I have to fix the camera. Okay, so what you can see right is I have these little candle lights back here. And what I did that for is it's going to light up this piece right down. And because remember, this was a, where the television sat, so there were no lights here. So I added some wiring in the back, and I put these. So I am going to add books here again. All right, so up on top, the books are on this side. So what I'm going to do is, on this one, I'm going to put the books here. And notice, they're all black. Remember I told you I was introducing black. We have the black in the picture. That's right above it, right? There's black back there. And then there's black over there as well. So I'm adding in the black down here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, since up on top, the books are on this side, down here, I'm going to put the books on this side, okay? And I want this gold to show. And this one is upside down, it goes this way. Okay, so all the writing is the same way. Visual clutter, again, that could, that could add to visual clutter. Okay, and here we have another book with the gold writing. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm putting that one here like this. And I'm going to put the candle up against the book like that. And then to pick up on this glass up here, I'm going to add another glass container right there. Okay, so now we have this shelf to do. And I'm going to do it the opposite of this one. Okay, so once again, I'm going to use the dark books with the gold writing. And here they are, like this right here. So it echoes that. Then I have another one right here that I'm going to place here, right? Like that. Then the candle goes here against it, like that. And then I have another crystal dish to carry out that trio of the glass, which is going to go right here. So believe it or not, this is so old, this piece that this shelf down here was actually for the VCR. Remember those VCRs? Okay, so that and the, and the CD player. So they went here. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do here. So to lighten up now and pull in some of the lightness that we have from up there, I'm going to again use books. So I'm going to use these white books right here. Okay, and I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to put some right here. And I'm going to use this candle, which has the green that I told you I'm incorporating in the room. And the top is gold. So I'm going to put that right here. Okay? So we have that shelf. So now we have the side cubbies to do.
All right, so we have three over here to do, and we have three over there. Now, this is where it can start to get a little bit crazy and, you know, like, too much stuff. So, again, I have to think it out, and, you know, it sounds weird, but I'll sit, like, I sit right across from this, and I, I stared at it for maybe three days before I decided exactly what I was going to do. Then I went upstairs into my, you know, where I keep all of my stuff in the attic, and I started to like put things together. So what I wanted to do is up here, I wanna add a ginger jar. And I have this one right here. And this is neat because my father found this on the side of the road one day and he knew I would want it. It does come with a cover on it. I don't know where it is. I put it in a safe place that I would never forget where it is. And I have no idea where it is, but it'll survive like this. So, you know, I always think of him, how happy he was. He actually uh, was taking the dog for a walk and he came home and he was so happy that he found this because he knew that, uh, you know, I could use this and I would like it. Uh, so this, you know, has a little story for me anyway, but I'm going to put this, it has the green color that I'm using in the room and I'm going to put this up here. And I think it can stand on its own. Now, on the diagonal to that, I want something similar, but not the same. So I have the same shaped jar now, and it has a little bit of a green tone to it. So it ties in with that. And this one has the green tassels on it. And here I put gold on here to pick up the other gold highlights. And I'm going to put that down over here. Let me fix the camera so you can see that. Okay, it's right over there. Okay, now I'm going to work. I'm going to show you here, but I have to get rid of that glare. It's driving me crazy. What's actually cracking me up is that it's always cloudy here, and today there's a little, little bit of sun coming through, and it's, it's causing uh, glare problems. All right, so what am I going to put in this shelf right here? So remember, I have some blue going on over here, so I thought to myself, well, you know what? I have a blue-ish painting. All right, so I'm going to use this picture. This was given to us by a really dear, dear friend of Mary Ann's who's passed away. And um, she, I, she found this on, um, I, I think it was in uh, Artist, down the shore at the beach here. And uh, she saw it and she knew Mary Ann loved blue. And uh, she picked this up for Mary Ann. And I want to say, I have... A, if I remember correctly, she gave this to Marianne uh, as um, during a, a shower gift or an engagement gift, one of those. So this blue will tie in with these blues, and I'm going to put this right up here. Okay? So that's where I'm going to put that painting. So now I have a picture here, so I want one down here. And here was the problem. I really didn't have anything that I wanted, so I'm on the hunt for it. But in the meantime, what I'm doing is, I drew this little picture right here. Uh, it's Winnie the Pooh, and he has green tones in him. So again, he ties in with the green that's in the room. See, like, even in this, even in this pillow, it's the same color green as in Winnie the Pooh's butt right there, okay? So, and it says, as soon as I saw you, I knew an adventure was going to happen. So, and it has the gold of the frame, and it's a picture, so I'm going to put it down in here. Like that, okay? Now, these two shelves on each side, I have to figure out what I'm going to do. So, I want to carry this blue from here over to here to make it more of a cohesion. So... I have this blue bottle that I'm going to use for height, like that, okay? I have this beautiful blue bottle that was brought to us from Italy.
and I have this, which has the cream color of the wall unit, the blue of what we're talking about. It has a fish on it, and one of these books right here is, says dolphins and porpoises, and this came from Marianne's sister who passed away. She brought this to us from Greece. So I have the three of those over there. Now I need something to balance it on this side. So I'm going to incorporate the browns on this side because that's what I have. This I'm putting in, it has the brown undertone and has like green undertones as well. I asked Marianne where this came from because I couldn't remember and she can't remember either, but We've had it a while, so it's part of our story. So I'm putting that here. Now, there's a bottle over there. Remember the blue bottle? I have one here that's brown. It's brown, and I'm gonna put that right here. Let's see, goes there, all right? And, I'm going to, put this piece in right here, which was, it was Marianne's mother, but actually it was a wedding favor from one of Marianne's cousins that she loves very much. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so let me show you the whole thing without me yapping and you can get a closer look at it. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll be seeing you really soon. Bye-bye.